This video will show you just how advanced medicine is. We have everything from heart transplants, arm and leg transplants, a uterus transplant, and a facial transplant so shocking, even the man's family members didn't recognize him. So, here are the eight transplant surgeries that shock the world. Let's dive right in, shall we? Number eight, Carl Merck. For our first pick, we chose the transplant that allowed one man to receive the sense of touch in both his arms. Back in the late 2000s, Carl Merck had a terrible fall on his farm, and he was operating heavy machinery. While his harvester was still going, Carl's arms got lodged inside the blades, and he thought he had lost them forever. And he would have lost them if it weren't for the 40 surgeons at a hospital in Munich, Germany. Even though the man lost not one, but both of his arms, the German hospital still managed to find a donor and immediately do a transplant surgery that forever restored his grip and touch. The operation lasted 15 hours and 40 surgeons were in the operating room with him. After the operation was over, they had Carl undergo physiotherapy and the then 55 year old man managed to wave his hands a few months later. In just two years, he could control his hands like they were his own, and he used them to smash that like button, just like you should if you haven't done so already. Number seven, double leg transplant. From double arm transplant, we moved down to the one where surgeons did a double leg transplant, and a few years later, he had to give them back. What the hell do you mean give them back? Well, keep watching and you'll find out. It was 2006, and one 20-year-old man got in a terrible car accident. He lost both of his legs, but shortly after, they found a donor. The transplant operation was led by surgeon Pedro Cavadas and his team of 50 doctors, who successfully replaced both of the patient's legs in a 10-hour operation. However, complications arose just a few years later. You see, the immunosuppressant drugs that the guy was taking had to be discontinued. Why? Because this medicine only worsened another of his illnesses that he contracted earlier. Without the immunosuppressants, which he was supposed to be taking for life, the body wouldn't accept the transplant as they weren't quote unquote vital organs. So they amputated both his legs to save his life. Number six, Ming Li. Back in 2010, a little girl from China had an accident and she came into the hospital with a severed arm. After reattaching the arm to her leg and then doing another transplant a few months later, they were able to save her life. Here's how that went down. You see, after being run over by a tractor on her way to school, Ming Li, then nine, was taken to the closest hospital they could find. There, she arrived with a completely severed arm but it was in good condition nonetheless, and the doctors had an idea. They would reattach the arm to her leg for three months until it healed, and then they would actually do a correct transplant. Three months had passed, and Ming Li was taken to the operating room. The operation was a success, and since the arm had a healthy pink color, that meant the blood was circulating through correctly. But doctor said she would need two more surgeries just to get everything back in order. Number five, the uterus transplant that worked. Uterus transplant surgery is extremely dangerous, and there hasn't been a case of a successful one since. This is not one of those cases, but the mother managed to keep the uterus long enough for the baby to be born. A young couple from Sweden wanted to have a baby so bad, but the mother was born without a uterus. Then, she heard about a uterine transplant, and a 61-year-old family friend agreed to give them her own uterus. The doctors got ready for the transplant, but first, they froze 11 embryos which would later be implanted into the mother's uterus. The surgery was a success, but the doctors used drugs to suppress the immune system from rejecting the new organ. After a year, the doctors decided it would be time to actually implant one of the frozen embryos, and it was a success. The baby started to develop inside the mother's womb, but the child was born prematurely. With only 32 weeks, the child had to come out because it was endangering the mother's health. Now, the father says that their child is no different than any other, except that they have an amazing story to tell their friends and family. Number four, 
a guy with a dead man's voice. With tears in his eyes, Tim Heidler spoke for the first time in 20 years. Even though the voice was coarse at the time, Tim was ecstatic he could speak again. But he wasn't born this way. A motorcycle accident in 1978 caused this. What kind of accident? Well, someone decided to teach bikers a lesson by tying a metal string neck high across the road. Tim didn't see it, and his larynx was crushed in the incident. For 20 years, he got used to using a little contraption that simulated speech. He thought he would never speak again, until he met Dr. Marshall Strong in 1998, a larynx specialist. That same year, Matthew Douglas died, and he was the perfect larynx donor for Tim. Matt's family agreed for the transplant, and the operation began. Dr. Strong managed to make a successful transplant, and after 20 years of no speaking, Tim finally uttered his first words. Although coarse, this voice shattered the 20-year silence. In just a few months, Tim's new voice fully recovered. Number 3. Richard Lee Norris Richard Lee Norris was 22 when a severe gunshot determined the fate of his life. He was standing in his living room, and he shot himself in the face with a gun. His mother, who was standing three feet away from him, screamed in terror at what had happened to her son. They took him to the hospital, but the doctors couldn't save much of his face. You see, the gunshot had blown off his lower chin, his cheekbones, and part of his nose. The doctors did what they could, but the results were awful. For years, Richard didn't leave his house. That was until they met Dr. Eduardo Rodriguez. He was the best reconstructive facial surgeon they could find, and a donor soon popped out of the blue. Richard was the first person in the world to receive a full face transplant. After the surgery, he said that he could feel normal once again. He could go out and not worry about what people thought of him. Ever since his story appeared on TV, his mailbox was flooded with thousands of letters from ordinary people wishing him a healthy recovery. Among them was the letter of his future wife and the love of his life. So you see, this wasn't so bad after all. Number 2. Chinese Penis Transplant This procedure is known among the medical community as an allotransplant, and in 2006, a Chinese man was the first one to receive a penis transplant in the entire world. In a military hospital in Guangzhou, China, one man came in after having suffered an accident. Now, we're not going to get into the details, but this 44-year-old man received an organ transplant from a 22-year-old male who had been brain dead at the time. And the operation was a success for 15 days. You see, this is when the patient and his wife came back into the hospital after having suffered psychological trauma and asked the doctors to immediately remove the organ from his body. This very action prompted doctors around the world to rise up in revolt and attack the ethics committee that authorized this operation. And just a side note, since then, doctors have successfully biologically engineered penises. This means that they're able to grow a penis in a lab. We think a new booming market just opened up. Number 1. Patrick Hardison While an earlier case was the first full facial transplant in the world, this is the facial transplant surgery that replaced the most amount of scar tissue, even functioning eyelids. You see, the man we're talking about is a former firefighter who almost lost his life after losing his entire face when a burning roof collapsed on his head. But Patrick Hardison from Senatobia, Mississippi didn't lose hope. He was looking for the best facial doctor he could find, and that's when he came across Eduardo Rodriguez. Sound familiar? This is the same doctor that did the first full facial transplant in history on Richard Lee Norris. Dr. Rodriguez and his team of 100 doctors all came into the operating room and performed a 26-hour surgery, which began on August 15, 2015. And it was a success. The doctor restored all of Patrick's face, including his eyelids, which were severely burned at the time. Patrick now enjoys life just like any other person in the world, even though he was one of 37 people in the entire world to undergo such medical procedures. And on that note, we end today's video. But hey, do you know anyone who's undergone a very risky surgery? 
you can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.